But let me share something with you before I enter the third key. You see, the reason why we teach you the word of God is so that when your time of challenge and your time of trial comes, you will apply the word. Amen. Oh, praise God. Please, you understand what I'm saying? The reason why we teach you the word of God is so that when your time of trial or your time of challenge comes, you will do what? You apply the word. Because it is getting very scary to me how Christians forget the word of God when their time of trial comes. Amen. It's becoming very scary. Amen. Oh, praise God. Please, you understand what I'm saying? It's becoming very what? Scary. You teach a Christian the word of God for five years, knowing that this person is fully taught. And when the day of trial comes, they fold like a pack of cards. Amen. It's getting what? Scary. So tell somebody by you, we teach you the word so that you apply it in the day of trouble. Please, let me ask you a question. How many of you have ever heard me teach you that when trouble comes, call your pastor? Which of my teachings have I said, when trouble comes, call your pastor? None. Is that true? I've not taught you that before. But do you know that when trouble comes, the first thing people do is they call their pastor. Meanwhile, you are never taught that thing. Never. Have you been taught that thing? Praise God. But whatever you were taught, you do what? You throw it away. See, the reason why we go to school and we are taught every day in school is so that when the examination comes, you don't call your teacher. Hello? Please, are you getting what I'm saying? The reason why every day you go to school is so that when the day of examination comes, you don't do what? You don't call your teacher. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm saying that the reason you are coming to church every day is to be equipped. Tell somebody to be equipped. I can you tell somebody to be equipped with the word of God. Amen. So that when the day of trouble comes, you should be able to do what? Apply the word. But because you don't realize you are being equipped, some people come to church, the word passes here and passes here. Amen. And when the day of trouble comes, and let me tell you, the day of trouble will come. Hmm. The day of trouble will do what? It will come. Come what me, it will come. Amen. It will come. But when the day of trouble comes, will you be prepared for that day? See, God didn't say that no trouble will come your way. I can assure you that you will sit in the car and the car will be doing overtaking and that car will be coming to hit you people. Amen. Oh, praise God. How many of you have experienced such a thing before? Yes. That time, what will you do? Praise God. That is when you hear Christians shouting, we die finish. How many of you have heard that before? One day I sat in a vehicle and as the vehicle was traveling, it was a a Benz bus, you know those days Benz bus were the ones that were going on the long journey and as the vehicle was misbehaving a woman was sitting by me, she held me and said ye wo, ye wo, I move and answer, what the one they will amen, if you want to die, go and die oh praise God as the day of trouble will always do what sometimes a sickness will attack you that will keep you on the bed and everybody will tell you that this sickness will do what will kill you, in that day what will you do are you hearing me? There are things that are certain to happen. There will be days that there will be no money in your account and there will be no money in your pocket. What will you do? Hallelujah. Those days will come. Hallelujah. To everybody. Are you prepared for that day? There will be days where demons will possess people and come and attack you. Praise God. Are you prepared for that day? Please, am I talking to somebody? That is why we equip you with the word of God. Hallelujah. Not for you to forget it, but for you to be ready to do what? To do it in the day of trouble. Amen. 